postman Pat, postman Pat, postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, postman Pat, postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure there'll be knock, ring. Letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really There was a touch of spring in the air in Greendale. Pat was on his way. A lovely scent of blossom wafted in at his open window. There wasn't much post today, so he had time to stop. Oh, isn't it grand? Come on, Jess. Stretch your paws. Well, look who's here. Morning, Miss Hubbard. Oh, morning, Pat. Just the day for a bit of painting. Pat, my canvas, quick, catch it. I'll get it. Well caught, Hedge. Quite a lively picture this'll be. Here we are, Miss Hubbard. All safe. Oh, thank you, Pat. This is a most important canvas for the Ghana Bridge Art Show. The Pencaster Gazette's offering a prize. A very big prize, I believe. Just think of that. Well, I never saw that. I've been too busy sorting out letters to read the paper. Ah, oh, here we go. Hmm. Not a bad start. Well, uh, hmm, is it? I mean, all that yellow. It fair makes you squint. Now then, Pat, what do you think of that? Hmm. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think the wind's trying to paint you. Oh, no good, Pat. I'll have to go home and paint a pot of flowers on the kitchen table. <laughs> Next day, Pat was out in his van again. There was a parcel for Ted. Morning, Ted. Morning, Pat. I hope you've got a parcel for me. I have, and it looks like something special. Special? <laughs> I should think so. Uh, it's a thing of me what's it for this doolally gadget I'm making for the Pencaster art show. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't mind having a go, but I don't think I could make a doolally what's it. Well, there's all sorts of things you could try. What about a spot of painting? I've plenty of tins with a bit left in. I'd be glad to get them used up. I was watching Miss Hubbard yesterday. It looks a bit messy, especially when the wind gets up. What you want is a nice lump of clay. That sounds more my style. But where could I get such a thing as a lump of clay? 
I've got a tin of some special stuff. They sent it for me to try out. It's like clay. I haven't got time to bother with it. You're welcome to try if you like. I'll have a go. Here you are. Plenty there. Just read the instructions. Thanks, Ted. But what's this thing you're making? What does it do? Now then, don't tell anybody, Pat. It's to be a secret until the show opens. <laughs> They've never seen anything like this. It all works with the wind, you see. That's what this fan's here for. What? Uh, I'd better be off. I've had enough wind today to last me for a long time. Cheerio. Bye, Pat. What about a clay mouse, Jess? That might do. <laughs> At Greendale Post Office. What's this business about? Everybody was talking. Hello there, morning Pat. Morning Pat. Morning Major. About the art show. How wonderful to have an art show in our community. Last time I did any painting, what? Painted the fence all round the barracks. <laughs> Made a bit of a mess of it. When I was a girl, I was a wonder at needlework, embroidery, all that sort of thing. I can't hold a brush properly now. It's these rheumatics, you know. Oh, yes, I'm sure. I, I just have to sort out... These letters. It was six years has some nice ago. Stuff. Come, Mickle. When I was on the I remember I was to make two of us out of it. I'm losing my numbers. Quiet, everybody! Now, look, folks. I have these letters to sort out. And if you want any advice, you'd best go have a word with Mr. Pringle down at the school. Follow me. I wonder if he would accept the, Mind the small step. model I have. Painting by These numbers. Were cushions. Cross stitching. A bit faded by now. Hello, Mrs. Goggins. Do you know? If it's about that blessed poster and the art show, no, Pat, I don't. The whole of Greendale's all a buzz about it, and I'm tired of answering silly questions. Besides, there's a deal of post to come in, so there'll be no time for chatting. Thanks, Mrs. Goggins. Bye, Pat. I'm thinking of having a go at something. Just wait and see. It was a quiet evening for Pat. Sarah was at the WI. Julian was doing his homework. Pat had a look at the Pencaster Gazette. Then he remembered. Now then, uh, what shall I make? First job, get it out of the tin. Uh, what does it say? I wish Ted hadn't spilt paint on it. Keep warm and mix a small amount of water. I can't see the rest. Never mind. Hey up! Oh dear! Ooh, it's... it's alive! Help! More like glue than clay. Oops! Ooh! My goodness! Ooh, I'd better get a move on. Oh dear. Get off! The next morning, Pat phoned Ted. Hello. Hello, Ted. Hey, old Pat. How are you doing? I had a spot of bother with that clay stuff you gave me. It took me till bedtime to clean it up. What did you make? <laughs> a mess, that's what I made, Ted. Nothing else. You should have heard what Sarah said when she came home. 
You'll have to follow the instructions, Pat. I'll see if I can get a leaflet about it. I know I've got one somewhere. Pat just had to have another try. It's beginning to look like... something familiar. Ah, <laughs> Jess was getting fidgety. At last, the day of the art show came. On the way to George Lancaster's, Pat's van was making some very peculiar noises. George heard the noise and came to have a look. Morning, George. What's wrong, Pat? Ooh, I don't know. She just conked out. Let's have a look. I know a thing or two about motors. Sam Waldron arrived. Hi, Sam. Hello, Pat. Anything wrong? Eh, uh, the main manifold to the exhaust. Ooh. I suppose it'll do. This distributor looks icky. Hey, Pat. These plugs are mucky. Oh? Let's have a shifty. There's nothing wrong with the van, Pat. It's just that it won't run on fresh air. <laughs> You're out of petrol. Oh, what a noodle I am. And I'll miss the art show. They're picking the winner this afternoon. Here you are. I can spare you a drop. Enough to get you down to the village anyway. Thanks, Sam. Bye. Cheerio, bye. The van went much better with petrol in it. <laughs> but not for long. Oh dear. No. Oh, come on, Jess. We'll have to walk the rest of the way. Pat was out of puff when he got to the school. There was no sign of the judge. Hello, everybody. Hello, Pat. Hello, Pat. Am I too late? Ah, oh, hello, Pat. Ah, oh, there's Sarah. Hello, there. Pat, over here. She was looking after Pat's model of Jess. Someone had stuck a notice on it. Hello, Sarah. What's this? Special award? Greendale Prize? It's a special prize, Pat. Something about your model saving the show. I didn't think my model was... Hang on. There's something missing. His tail. His tail's missing. I gave him a nice bushy tail. Um... But Hello, Ted. Could you spare a minute? Is there a flood? There was a leak. Um, you see that pipe? That's a nice lump of clay wrapped round the pipe. That's Jesse's tail. The cold water makes the clay go hard, so it's just the thing to stop a leak. Without that, we would have had to close the show down. I think Jess deserves first prize. After all, he did help to stop a flood. He's a first prize cat, is our Jess. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. 